Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we're gonna to be looking at using cheats on the Steam Deck using Emu Deck along with Emulation Station. And this is a 101 course. We're going to be looking at uh, some Atari 2600 stuff, but this works for all types of retro arch based emulator cores. So things like uh, arcade, 2600, 5200, pretty much anything that's before PlayStation 1 is probably going to be uh, accounted for here. But I've got a very specific thing set up for you to see, and it's all under Atari 2600. So the Atari 2600 is actually emulated from RetroArch using the Stella core, at least in the case that I've got set up here. So if you were to look at... Um, uh, your settings here in alternative emulators, you can see that currently my 2600 is set for Stella. And Stella default is essentially using RetroArch built into the uh, Emu Deck install. Okay, so now we know it's Stella. We know it's Atari 2600. Now let's talk about cheats themselves. We're going to start with Donkey Kong because this one's a nice, easy one to do. And once you're in Donkey Kong, um, the it doesn't load any sort of cheats for you, right? I'll, you did see that my retro achievements kicked in. Pressing both analog sticks in will get you to the RetroArch quick menu. Now, once here we can go to cheats, and this is right off the quick menu. I scrolled up to get there a little quicker, but it's down here. So we go to cheats. All right, so we're not gonna deal with actually making your own cheats. All we're gonna do is deal with cheats that were installed by Emu deck when you installed it or ones that you've downloaded online and put somewhere. So if we go to the bottom, this is where the cheats are going to show up and there aren't any because even though these cheats were included with Emu deck, they're not in the right place. So let's, we'll look at this a couple of different ways. Let's go ahead and start off by loading a cheat file and using it as a replacement because we don't have any anyway. It lands you immediately into the uh, emulation slash storage slash retro arch slash cheat folder. All right, inside of there are a bunch of systems that have some cheats already here for you. That includes our beloved Atari 2600. But you'll notice it says Atari 2600, not Stella. And this is going to come back to haunt us in a little bit. So we're going to go to Atari 2600 and we're going to find the Donkey Kong CHT or cheat file. And as soon as we load that, check it out. Now we have a cheat for in infinite lives. And you can turn that on, of course, and you're good to go. Now, once you've actually loaded a cheat file like this and exit, you'll notice that when you go back into the game, check it, when you go back into the game, the cheats will automatically load again. And that doesn't make a ton of sense. Why wouldn't it just load the first time, right? So you can see it's here. Infinite Lives is still here. Well, the secret is in the file system. The devil's in the details, as it always is with these sort of things. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and mount my Steam Deck as some drives on Windows. This is using SSHFS. Uh, check the upper right corner if you need a tutorial on how to do that. And I'm going to be using Directory Opus as my... Uh, catalyst for accessing my micro SD card. So you can see I have my emulation folder here and we go into storage. There's RetroArch and there's cheats. There's that Atari 2600 folder that we saw. If we go in there, hey, look at this. Lots of, well, not a lot, but many cheats that are already ready, including Donkey Kong. That's where we loaded it from. Now, once we loaded it, it automatically put a copy of it where it belongs which is in, you probably figured this out already, the Stella folder. And there it is. So what do you want to do? You probably want to just go to Atari 2600, <laughs> grab all of these, cut them out, and then put them inside Stella. Now, this could change based on what emulator you use, right? So Stella is the one we're looking for in this case. There we go. So now... If I go to one of these other games, now that it's in Stella, it should show up. Let's see if we're right. So we're gonna go ahead and exit. I'm gonna grab a different game that I know we have a cheat for, which is Junior Pac-Man, and I'm gonna load that. Now, I have not loaded the cheat file previously. Well, I did, but I got rid of it. So now we're gonna go and check it out. Cheats, there they are. So the fact that the name of the ROM and the name of the cheat were the same 
it automatically picked those up. Now it doesn't turn them on automatically. That's something that you can do with this option right here. Uh, but you can see that it's picking them up without having to do a manual load this way. You'll probably want to experiment with each platform that you're planning on using cheats with and go ahead and move them to the appropriate folder as you know, as you find out what needs to go where. All right, so um, let's just for fun, let's just see how this works. Infinite lives, infinite power pellet time. That sounds great. So we'll resume, start our game. All right, and I'm dead. I still have three lives. Now this should just sit here forever, right? Because I have a cheat for infinite power pill. Sorry, I'm not using the D-pad. So they're gonna stay blue until I get them. That's kind of cool. I mean, if, you, if you're into cheats, I'm not a cheat kind of guy, to be honest. And that's why I haven't done a cheat video before now. But several people have asked for a cheat video, so I figured I'd throw it together. Okay. And if we go to, say, another game, like, say... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let me show you one that doesn't work. And this, and this is something that you might experience. So you download a cheat, or you're using one of the existing cheats... And uh, so let's do Frogger, because I know there is a cheat for that, okay? Now you'll notice color, it's in color right now, right? It looks like you would expect the game to look. We're gonna jump in and go to cheats. Ah, it, it automatically loaded them, nice. Infinite POW, so that means the power meter that goes down, right? So if I turn this on along with infinite lives and then go back and resume, first off, everything turned black and white which is bizarro. Now you see your power meter in the bottom right, and uh, it, it should be, we should have infinite lives, right? But I'll ram myself into a car and I don't. So this cheat either is broken, it doesn't work with this version of the ROM, this sort of thing can and will happen. I wanted you to see what that might look like. Of course, you can always go back and uh, try one or the other and see if maybe so maybe infinite, uh, maybe infinite lives work, but not infinite power. So you could try that. You probably want to do a restart. I'm, you shouldn't have to, but there you go. So now it's um, it's still black and white. So maybe that's the cheat that's broken, is the infinite lives, which is goofy because that should be the easy one, right? Okay, nope, still lost a life. Okay, so let's go back in, and we will turn that. One. Dang it, turn that off and turn that on. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and restart. Now, so this cheat's just broken. This is a bad cheat, probably should just delete it, um, but at least you know now that uh, you can get bad cheat files, or usually it, it probably has something to do with, this was made for a version of Frogger. Um, this was made for a version of Frogger that uh, is maybe a different region or a different release. Hard to say, but that's how that works. All right, let's try to roll our own with Galaxian here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the game fresh. We're going to go down to Cheats, Start Cheats, change to 2 bits, and hit your button. Now it's started. It's looking for values. We're going to go back to the game. We're going to die. So now we should decrement a ship. Wait for the ship to disappear and your next life to appear. Okay, it does. We're going to go back in, and we're going to do another search for anything that was less than before. 54. Well, we're not going to look at 54 values. Let's go ahead and lose another life. There we go. And now we'll check again for any number that was less than before. Okay, go back in. Cheats. Continue. Oops. Back up. There you go. All right, let's do it again. Less than before. Eight. Okay, we can do eight. Anything less than 10 was going to be a winner. So we're going to add eight matches to our list. We're going to go back one, and you can see that all eight memory locations are here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn on four of them and leave the other four off, and we'll see if we have infinite lives. Then we'll do the process of elimination until we get down to one. So here we go. We're going to turn the first four on and see if we have unlimited lives. We're going to go ahead and restart the uh, game here. All right, let's see what we got. So I died, did my life decrement, or am I good? 
Oh, no, that's not going to work out. So it's not one of the first four. It has to be one of the last four. So let's go back into cheats, turn off the first four, turn on the first four, or the last four, rather. There we go. Now let's try it again. This is a lot more work than it seems, right? All right, so we've done that. Now we're going to restart, and let's see what we got. Well, first, our ship display is, like, totally bored. We hope that's a good thing. Maybe that means I'll never run out of lives. So there's one death. We have to die three times to make sure the game isn't over. There's two. I wasn't going to leave all this in, but what the heck. Three. Now, if the game's over, then it didn't work. Nope, I'm still alive. So it's one of those last four. So you guys know what we're going to do next, right? We're going to go back in. We are going to, hey, stop playing, go back in there. There you go. We're gonna go back in there and we are going to use the process of elimination. We're gonna turn half of them back off, leave the other half on and see if we are lucky. This is why we only wanted to do eight of these. Imagine 59 of these. How desperate are you to have a cheat for Galaxian, right? So there's one. Now notice our ships are back. Uh, nope, 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 we're, uh, that's not it. That's not it at all. We're going to have to go ahead and use the other set. We're definitely not not worked out here. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, so let's go in and go back to our cheats. We're going to toggle these two off and the other two on, right? We know it's got to be one of these last four, and since it's not the last two, it's got to be one of these two. Okay. Oh, there we go. The... Uh, the ship counter is completely borked, so I'm guessing that we got it. It's one of these two. But we got to do due diligence here and die three times and make sure the game isn't over. Okay, are we good? I'm assuming we're good, but let's make sure. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so we're, we're good to go. So it's one of those two. <laughs> so now we got to flip them again and find out which of the two it is. So we'll turn one of them off which is cheat five, so we got four on. So four and five are the numbers. Four and five are the numbers. Should have a scratch pad. Okay, the, it's totally trash. The the um, chip count is trash. So I'm, I'm guessing that we probably got it. Two. Three. We're still playing, so that's it. That's the one. But you know what? Let's let's be sure, right? Let's be absolutely positive. Let's go back and toggle the other one. Just to make sure. Alright. Back in we go. Four off, five on. Oops. Dang it. Not used to this layout. Okay. So now we'll make sure that it really was number five. Should probably do a, uh, a restart here. There we go. Okay, our ships are back to being seen. I think I think we're pretty much 100% sure that it's five. All right, so now that we know which one it is, we're going to go to our cheats. And uh, we're going to turn back on number four turn off five. So four is the one, right? It's the fifth in the list. Index of zero, right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove all the cheats that we don't currently have turned on, which is cheat four. Now, remember, as you remove cheats, the number's going to change. So make sure you leave the one that works on so that you can get rid of the other ones. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead here, remove, remove, remove. Now, this will save automatically but if you wanted to um, save another copy of it, you can somewhere else. So I'm going to try to type infinite lives here. And yes, I know I spelled infinite incorrectly. But bear with me here. This is not uh, an English video. Okay. Perfect. So now you could save this cheat file again, or when you leave, it'll automatically save it. But if you want to, you can save it off as test or something like that if you want to come back to it. That's it. 
All right, so we've we've got our own cheat. We we successfully created a cheat for Galaxian. And just to make sure we're good, we're going to go in one last time after we've exited the game completely and make sure that we still have our cheats, that they're still turned on, and they are, with my bad spelling and everything. And uh, we're ready to just jump in and check it out. Yep, the uh, ship indicator is still trash, so we should still be in good shape. And that's really it. Listen, I hope you enjoyed looking at cheats. Again, the devil is in the details. You're going to want to do a little bit of cleanup here. Uh, you have access to all of your, uh, all of the cheats that got pre-installed, 5200. So, you know, and CHT files are available all over the internet too. So you'll be able to find what you're looking for. I know what most people are looking for, cheat codes to Pokemon on Game Boy. Uh, yes, all of that's probably in here too. You can see Game Boy's got tons and tons and tons of cheat files. And again, it probably isn't going to land here, but once you load up the game and manually load one of these cheats, it'll probably put it, you know, into the right storage location. So instead of it being the uh, Nintendo Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color, it'll probably be in a GBC folder or whatever the name is of the emulator that we'll be using. So uh, that's pretty much it. Listen, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armandrone. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.